All right, so we all know the Jackie Robinson story, right? What's he famous for? Yes, and what did he do? He broke the color line, right? I mean, that's the, that's the narrative. Those are the, the exact phrase. He broke the color line. And so what does that do? What does that discourse do, right? Well, he's, he was really special. He was exceptional. He did it. Uh, he had what it took. Um, I always get this image of like this somebody running, and there's this yellow ticker tape, and he just finally bust through it, you know, yeah, right? So think about what that narrative does. It's the narrative that we're given, but it makes really about, I mean, at a, at a deeper level, finally one of them had what it took, right? Was good enough, tried hard enough, worked hard enough, and was able to compete with us, if you will. But what if the narrative went like this? Jackie Robinson, the first black man whites allowed to play baseball. That is the story, right? That is the, what happened. Jackie Robinson could not play if we did not allow him. We, we made the policies and the practices that denied him, and then we changed them to include him. It wasn't up to him. <laughs> and I'm sure there were many, many, many other people before him that were you know, phenomenally talented, right? If he just walked out on that field, the police would remove him. Right? It's, it's who, who has that institutional control? That's the difference.